show use a hard drive. Uh, what I use is a passport. It's for using a hard drive in a car stereo. Uh, every now and then I have someone ask how I did this, and so I'm just making a quick uh, instructional here. First of all, I've tried this on many different brands of car stereos, and while most brands will see the audio, the only ones I've ever had that sh that showed the video were the Pioneer AVH-P, not even the X, only the AVH-P. So first of all, you have to have a hard drive. I use I buy Western Digital Passports, and the reason why the stereo will see a flash drive and not a hard drive is because the flash drive is formatted as FAT32 and the hard drive is formatted as NTFS. So the first thing you need to do is reformat your hard drive as FAT32. So I use EaseUs Partition Master and when you buy your external hard drive it'll be formatted NTFS and here I've labeled mine Celine. I label all my hard drives for which car they go in. And I've already done this one as FAT32, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So you'll right-click on the hard drive, and you'll click Format. When you click Format, this will pop up, and it'll say, you can name it, whatever you want to name it, but you need to change it to FAT32. When you click OK, you're not finished. It'll go over to the Pending thing, and you'll see one format, Selena's FAT32. So then you have to click Apply. <coughs> it only takes a couple of seconds, and then after that, you're done with formatting. You can then immediately start saving mp3s, wmas, jpegs, whatever to it. But for video, the avh-ps will play from the hard drive or flash drive. They'll only play divx as far as I know. I'm sure they play more, but I've only done divx. So I'm going to show you how I make DVDs or basically any video into divx. So what I do is I for this example, I was uh, doing Battle 360. It's a History Channel thing. So you, I, I ripped the DVD onto the hard, onto my hard drive on the computer, on my C drive, and in the video TS, you drag the IFO file into the input file name of AVS Video Converter. Now, AVS Video Converter is the is the program that I use for making DivX. You don't have to use that, but it's what I'm used to. So. I have AVS Video Converter and I have it go to AVI because that's what DivX is. I put the source file in the input file name and then I tell it where I'm going to name, where I'm going to save the, the uh, DivX files. I've made a profile and the profile I'll show you right here. This is the profile I've made. I call it Bornhold. That's my last name. And just make sure all your settings are like this. You can pause this and it'll, and it'll work. Uh, afterwards, on some discs, such as this Battle 360, there are several different titles on it. As in, if you were putting the DVD in the DVD player, it would have you know different things you could play. Not chapters, but completely different shows, like different TV shows. So, I also make mine where it's split. I was doing 60, now I do 100. It, that way, you're... Uh, you're, you're files are separated into kind of like chapters on the on the uh, stereo so you can find them easier for whenever you uh, have them in the, in the uh, vehicle and there's that again so just just make my make yours match mine <clears throat> after it after I've done that also you'll see that I uh, the titles I save them here and then this right here is just where I renamed them and so then uh, after that I copy them all over to the Celine, and as you can see here, I've got everything split. Because when you get it into the stereo, you have to choose whether you want to look at audio, photo, or video. And the stereo goes into that mode, and it only does that thing at that time. So, I have a folder full of audio, a folder full of photo, and a folder full of video. And then inside those folders, I've got it all narrowed down so it's easier to find things in a quick folder structure. Such as video, movie... And then B, Battle 360, Disc 1, so on and so forth. I copy all the stuff over. After I copied it all over, you come up with the next problem with these is that the whereas the computer will display everything in alphabetical order or you know, numerical order, because it automatically does it, 
the stereo doesn't have that automatic sorting thing. It just displays things in the order in which they were saved onto the hard drive. And as you can see right here, I saved the two folder and then the three folder and then the one folder. So if you got into the vehicle and pulled it up on the stereo, two would be first, three would be second, and first, one would be third which is not a big deal right here but whenever you get into actual files of songs and stuff and you have to scroll everywhere looking for things that should be in alphabetical order it gets to be a nuisance so I use uh, and also this is after I've done it but I'm going to show you how I use uh, drive sort to fix that this is drive sort so the first thing you'll do is you'll open drive sort and you'll click this down arrow make sure you're doing long name sort which is these and order needs to be ascending subdirectories needs to be checked directories before the files that way you get your folders at the top and then all the the uh, files that are in the folders under it and then click the down arrow right there and click subdirectories there so then you see how here's the two three one where I saved them in that order that's the way the files are saved chronologically and that is the way that the stereo is going to see it so now that I've changed it where I want everything to be ascending then I just go up here and I click folder sort and then after that I click save current folder and it will save everything in that order now it's one two three after you do that you need to click close the disk and then after you close the disk you close the, the uh, program and then open Windows Explorer and wait for drive sort to let go of that hard drive and for your computer to see it as normal again and then of course always do a safe removal of the hard drive rather than just uh, pulling it loose usually won't hurt anything but it's possible you could damage some files so I decided it was easier to video this in the lightning so I've got the Selene hard drive plugged into my AVH-P8400 I think it's BH anyways uh, when you first plug it in turn it on you'll see format read well, first you'll see no device just for a split second and then you'll see format read and while it's reading it'll come up and it's going to see the folder and the files It's going to go through looking at everything the first time you need to let it do this although for the purpose of this this uh, video I did not do that the uh, the it's a search deal right here it looks like a magnifying glass and down here for media like I said music video or photo you're going to choose I, I went to video on this and now I will show you whenever I did it so I click the now the first time I did this everything is blank because it's still trying to catalog everything and I haven't let it that's why all this stuff this is just showing some gibberish it's going to actually be the correct stuff once I let it look look at things right but I'm going back and trying to get down to the video folder and now I go down to the movie and then go to B battle 360 and I go to disk one and see they're in order one two three instead of two three one I think it was call to duty and then this is the format that I saved them in because it's battle 360 volume one disk one track one part one two three so forth and then they all got the thumbnails and then I started doing no volume so anyways that's the general idea the way to do it. I'm not sure if it'll work on others, but it definitely works on AVH piece.